So from the default Unity workspace setup, um, you'll see in the middle here scene and then the game view. And then the next one is the asset store. And if for some reason it's not there, you can click window and then choose asset store. Okay, so the cool thing about the asset store is that built right into Unity, there's a source for a lot of um, visual assets, but then also kind of software tools um, that help you build things. A lot of this stuff is um, designed for game design specifically, um, but it gives us a huge leg up on uh, building environments if we don't have an art team or um, you know uh, 3D modeling skills on our own. Um, what's cool about this is there are um, there are assets that are that cost money, um, but there's a ton of free stuff too. And and so searching on here is sort of like searching on I don't know the iTunes Store or, or really more like Steam. Um, you can click free assets. You can also like set a price limit if you if you were willing to pay something. Um, but there's a ton of free stuff, and I I want you to uh, to be thinking in terms of free for now. Um, and then there's a lot of categories, and uh, so I want to encourage us to look at um, for now we'll twirl open 3D, and then um, I'm gonna look under uh, a couple of these vegetation props um, vehicles environments um, I think all of these are valid things for us to be looking through uh, to try to build something interesting um, in our space so the way these work is you can click on them and you'll see some kind of preview of what they are and there might even be um, a description of, uh, of what's inside. And when you download, you can then click Import. And it's going to bring up a window like this um, that shows you everything that you are importing. Um, if you didn't want all of it, you could uncheck some of it. Um, like, let's say you, were, you downloaded a pack that wasn't just four trees, it was like a hundred cool things for your awesome city or whatever, but you only wanted, you know, one building, um, you could deal with that here. Uh, then when we hit import, it brings this stuff into our Unity project. And so when we go under assets, um, they're usually named either for the name of the asset or in this case probably the name of the, the username or company that that built it um so inside darth artisan um there's a free trees asset and uh and then you'll see folders that are um the meshes and inside there are the materials um so i guess we need to do a quick vocab lesson um, mesh is the, uh, is the 3D model, so to speak, um, without any texturing or anything else attached to it. Um, materials are the colors and um, sort of like light reflectivity kind of information. Um, and then uh, there's actually a demo scene in this one, which which definitely isn't necessary. If you double click this, this would open up a whole, a whole new um, scene like this where the trees would be, I guess. Uh, and then here there's a texture um, which is distinct from a material because it can be like a, a tiled image. Um, and then finally, Unity has something um, that it calls a prefab, which is all this stuff already all put together. <laughs> Um, so if we grab one of these prefabs and just drag it into our uh, scene, then we've got this fir tree and we can move it around just like our, um, our simple geometry that we'd built before. We can also change its scale 
Um, this object probably we're going to want to change its scale uh, equally in in all directions because it'll get it'll get a little wonky if we don't. Um, but this is uh, now a giant low polygon um, simple tree to put into our scene. Um, and you could do this with you know any of these. So now we've got a, uh, a sort of interesting little um, clearing in the forest <laughs> that we're starting to build just out of this um, free pack. The reason you might consider using just the meshes um, is if you were going to assign different uh, materials or different textures to the, um, to the mesh that's there for you. Okay, so as you can see, um, under 3D, there's other things um, like props uh, can be an interesting one. For our purposes, if we're trying to build sort of a room or something that feels um, uh, like, a, like a chamber or a museum or a, um, a dorm room or any, any kind of uh, space that might have furniture or props of some kind. Um, so far, I've got uh, what looks like an exterior. So, you know, I might throw, um, I could either keep with that um, theme or try to get surreal by adding something that, that doesn't go. Um, in this case, it might be uh, some rugs and a bed. All right, now all of a sudden, with no 3D modeling skills and uh, no money spent, we have built a significantly more interesting um, virtual space that we can navigate around. And now, um, at least for the moment, I can kind of play uh, interior designer or um, art department, you know, on the film set, I can, I can kind of design um, this space. And I want you to think about uh, three dimensionality, you know, that, that this is a space that is explored in the round, you know, it doesn't, um, it's not cinematic in the sense that we frame it and say like, there's our composition, right? Um, your viewer will get to explore every corner of this. And so like, is this boring? You know, we need to think about um, like how we activate these spaces and draw people around and why they might want to go from here to there um, to check things out. 